Hey gang, we're here at Anchor, uh, kind of setting out a pretty stiff breeze, and I wanted to take a few minutes and show you guys how we rig a swell bridle on airspeed. All right guys, so the first issue is that the wind is coming uh, from about 120, 130 degrees off the starboard quarter. But the swell, which is wrapping around Cape Santa Maria, is coming straight at us. And uh, the rollers are pretty big, and they make sleeping really, really bad. So you'll basically have this issue whenever the uh, rollers in the wind are at 90-ish degrees, 90 or more degrees uh, to one another, because the, the rollers are going to hit you at 90 degrees uh, to the wind causing the boat to just um, roll like crazy back and forth, which makes sleeping just a nightmare. So we're gonna have some wind noise here, um, but hopefully you can just work through it with me. I'm gonna show you all the parts as we walk to the bow here. So obviously the first thing we have going on is uh, the anchor chain. We let the anchor out. The anchor is way over there, okay? So you set the anchor. And then what you're going to do is run a line all the way back here, make it fast to this winch here, and then let tons more chain out, like 50, 60 feet more of chain, so that you essentially establish a triangle between this aft line here, the swell bridle itself, and the chain, which is over here. So you're kind of creating an isosceles triangle with the boat being the base of the triangle. The, in this case, the starboard uh, side of the boat is the base of the isosceles triangle. You can then uh, let off or take in on the swell bridle to adjust your angle to the swell. Make sure you put a snubber on the chain because otherwise it's gonna uh, be operating at like a 60-ish, uh, yeah, about a 60 degree angle to the boat. And uh, especially if you're running it through your bow roller here, we have big ears on our bow roller, which makes it a little better, but the reality is it makes a ton of noise and puts a lot of load on the windlass here. And uh, that's a piece of equipment we do not want to overwork. So finally, just take a look at that wind. You can certainly hear it, and I'm really sorry about that, but that's part of, uh, part of the deal here. And I don't know if you can see these rollers coming in in the camera, but they're, they're pretty big. Um, they're big enough to really upset the boat if the rollers were uh, hitting us on the beam. Next time.